Good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the 17th of January 2017. Okay, um, an impressive day, uh, a very eventful day, uh, certainly a very volatile day in the currency market and the equity markets uh, in Europe. Okay, be, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the uh, app at the Apple uh, App Store and the Google Play Store. Okay, in terms of uh, the uh, numbers then for Europe, you have the FTSE down, a whopping 1.5%, uh, certainly uh, hitting that low of 7,220. Uh, in terms, although we did have a, a after hours low of 7,216, I did actually attempt to go long at 7,240 region with a stop loss of 7,215. Uh, and the reason why I know 7,216 is because I was one point away from being stopped out. Okay, and that's could still happen with the FTSE plunging at present. The German DAX uh, down 14 points, the CAC down 20.2 points, uh, the FTSE MIB actually up for the day, uh, which is quite surprising given the fact that uh, Brexit, obviously the uncertainty and the fear, etc. Uh, the European markets taking it in their stride, which is very surprising. Asian markets overnight mixed, the uh, Nikkei was certainly down quite um, heavily, down 1.5%, but the Shanghai managed to reverse the losses and actually finished positive. In terms of economic data, let's just quickly go through that with you as well. The main economic data releases today. Uh, just to clarify, Aussie data overnight. We had Japanese industrial production. French budget uh, as well came slightly stronger. Uh, global trade as well for Italy certainly came stronger. UK inflation data, I think it was already telegraphed, especially Mr. Carney's speech the night before that the inflation data certainly would come in much stronger than expected and that's exactly what occurred. Uh, again, that obviously raised fears and so on and so forth. ZEW data for Germany certainly came in uh, came in hell healthy. Current situation certainly came in coming in stronger. ZEW uh, for the Eurozone in, 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 in all actually came in slightly weaker and the ZEW current sentiment or economic sentiment certainly slightly weaker. Okay, now a UK Prime Minister's speech really, I think that was a focus for everyone today. Okay, so again, she basically stated outright that she would, uh, she basically wants to leave. Okay, if there's no good deal, then obviously uh, they've already turned their back on the EU and they want to focus on international potential international trade. Given the fact that European uh, trade has been lackluster for the for the past few years, so uh, I think uh, everybody agrees that the European Union certainly is in a quagmire in terms of growth and uh, obviously fiscal and monetary measures certainly seem to be exhausted now. Okay, so it certainly seems like the UK Prime Minister, either she's playing chicken or some sort of poker face, or alternatively they have a, obviously a, a different plan, Plan B, which is obviously global, tra global trade. Now, migration certainly seems to be a big issue at present, obviously with it being terrorism related in Germany recently as well. As well on top of that, you have France as well, and, and in Europe in general, given the uh, situation with the Syrian refugees, etc., and certainly is raising fear. So it seems to be more of a um, protectionist measure against any potential external terrorist threat, which really is understandable. I mean, let's be honest. Um, I think that certainly comes first and foremost prior to trade. So that's certainly understandable, and you have to respect them for that to a large extent. But if if growth and uh, jobs and investment is your uh, yardstick, then unfortunately um, the, the UK is going to suffer quite um, quite prolifically from my perspective, I think. It's going to be uh, uh, very negative going forward unless they can substitute, obviously, the the lack of growth from the EU with other countries, and then obviously it's a win-win situation. Uh, and also, given the fact that Miss um, uh, May certainly wants to get her upper hand and force the EU into uh, some sort of crisis, okay, and allow a special treatment for the UK given their history with them. So again, it'll be interesting, okay. Um, let's see how it unfolds. Now today, the the market certainly is interpreting it as being bearish given the fact that sterling certainly has shot higher, so the uh, long your long FTSE versus short sterling trade certainly has unwound, okay? So FTSE itself certainly down quite heavily. Now, bringing up the FTSE 100, because I think it's all about the FTSE today, I think that really is the uh, the key index. If you look at the daily chart, that's uh, one hell of a, a red candle. So certainly bearish engulfing candle, okay? Certainly in full control, broken out of the... Uh, the mid month uh, was it mid December? Yeah, almost uh, six weeks or more than six weeks, more than uh, say five weeks. Sorry, five week long rally. Okay, you have the unfilled gap at seven one one six. So back again, be aware of that seven one six one six seven one twenty on the daily chart. Looking at the sixty minute chart, the FTSE is certainly one hell of a flush. Okay, 
certainly flushing failed to hold this key resistance or key support level here the next real row of support for the FTSE certainly seems to be at 7205 if we fail to hold 7205 then you are looking at next support being 7170 so watch out for that okay uh, my uh, potential uh, long uh, counter trade certainly didn't work especially given the fact that we we pierced and broke through s3 as well rsi and stochastic certainly extremely oversold and yet the market certainly ignoring that altogether so again certainly needs to be uh, interesting certainly take that with a pinch of salt okay and that certainly is interesting going forward so uh, again a lot of technical damage done here okay on the daily chart specifically a lot of technical damage and uh, certainly is a uh, a risk off move specifically for the FTSE 100 okay so uh, in terms of support levels certainly have been breached i mean you had support here a key support at 7260 we failed to hold there in terms of uh, support at uh, 7250 we failed to hold there and then we had support at 7240 and given the fact that we had a lot of uh, activity in this region and still we failed to hold there now the next potential support is gap fill gap fill is seen at 7203 so watch out for 7203 okay and then obviously you have support at 7195 and 7180 as well so we'll see we'll see how that unfolds okay right in terms of european indices let's bring up the german dax german dax certainly capped at resistance at 11580 Okay, you still have the unfilled gap above at 11,630. Uh, we did actually hit a pivot low intraday. Quite uh, certainly was, uh, given the fact that um, obviously ever since May and uh, announced her measure in terms of going forward, the European indices certainly caught a bid. So it certainly seems like money rotated towards European equities. That's my interpretation, anyway. Given the fact that the FTSE was lackluster under immense pressure, and certainly have uh, has rotated towards European equities. We actually closed the gap and even moved higher. So it'll be interesting to see how the German DAX uh, it certainly print trades uh, after the um, after Miss May's uh, potential uh, obviously uh, declaration. So European equity certainly holding in there, certainly reversing the losses. Sterling, it's all about Sterling. Bring up the chart. Sterling give you an insight here as well. Look at Sterling, the daily chart, very very impressive. Looking at the four hour chart, very very impressive. We are into resistance though. So watch out for that key resistance here. But again, very, very impressive. We've certainly reversed very sharply onto the upside. And the sterling trade certainly seems to be very popular at present. Okay, so certainly a lot of uh, short squeeze city at present in terms of sterling. Okay, so let's see if that continues uh, going into the um, into the, uh, the weekly session. So we're currently on Tuesday, obviously until Friday, and we'll see exactly how that unfolds. Okay, now going over to the French CAC at the moment. French CAC again, very, very impressive. Close the gap, then started to reverse thereafter. So uh, impressive, impressive move in terms of the, uh, the French CAC at present. Okay, uh, now we actually close the gap below. A lot of damage was done below before the reversal. So again, certainly needs to be respected. We did hold that key support at 4840, and then obviously you had cap, for, you had uh, pivot S3 as support as well before we finally reversed higher so it has to be respected you do have the unfilled gap above at um, 4920 so it's all about whether or not we can actually make a higher low if we can make a higher low then you're looking for a higher high and looking for that gap to close okay let's see how uh, the u.s markets and european equities uh, certainly play out okay in terms of the euro stocks just last but not least let's quickly go over the euro stocks for you folks okay euro stocks in the moment Again, quite an impressive reversal. You do have an unfilled gap above at 3320, so just respect that. 60 minute chart, you did have a bullish engulfing candle. Are we going to consolidate and start to rip higher again and close the gap above? Uh, again, let the market dictate. Let's see what happens, okay? Euro USD certainly is into resistance now. Whenever the euro is into resistance, we all know European equities start to rally, so you're looking at a potential top rising. Uh, wedge pattern type formation okay looking for a flush down to 1.0670 and lower and therefore european equities will catch a bid but given the brexit and given the uncertainties surrounding that etc etc it certainly is uh, hard to argue for a move high in european equities nonetheless the market will uh, do what you least expect it to do and uh, be prepared either way okay be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignaler.com. Goodbye.